everybody if you're new to my channel i'm lori and welcome to my channel lori's book trials i hope you guys are all having a great day so i thought i would do a five star prediction video since i haven't done it in a long time and this time i'm going to write it down i wrote down some already but i'm going to write it down and i'm going to actually go back and tell you if i was right on any of these um, three of them I don't have. One, of course, doesn't come out until December 1st. And the other two I will be hopefully getting if, if we get to go to the mall today. Otherwise, I'll be ordering them and I'll be getting them and getting them probably sometime this week. But anyways, let's get started on the ones I don't have. And then I got a whole bunch on my lap. There's a couple that I read like maybe a couple pages in. But not enough that it's going to tell me if I really going to give it five stars or be a favorite of the year. Some of these might be six, but anyways, the first one is the one that's going to be out December 1st. And that finally we got a date and it was revealed yesterday. I already pre-ordered it. I already put in, I already sent my proof of purchase for it for I could get. If you, um, so many people that do the um, proof of purchase by a certain date. Uh, you get both, um, both little things. Like, there's one that you get, I mean, there's, like, two different, um, things you can get. She already announced one of the, um, pre-packed things. I mean, what you can get as a pre-order. And then the other one will be, like, the second half of the year, I think. Like, in June or July, they're gonna tell you what the other half is. But if you already turned your proof of purchase in and you're in the first tire, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, doing it again. So you'll automatically get the second thing as well. And the first thing is like a keepsake, like a little box that you could keep your keepsakes in, which I thought was really neat. But anyways, the book is A Sky Beyond the Storm by Saba. I know I'm totally butchering her, her first name, Tahara. And that's the last book in the Ember and the Ashes Quartet. I don't know, like, what the actual thing is called. I just say Ember and the Ashes. I don't know what it is. Yes, that, finally we got a date for the last one. I still haven't read the third one. Which I should have put down as a five-star prediction as well. Because, yes, I think it will be. So far, all of them have been a five-star. So I don't see it not being a five-star. But I didn't write it down. <laughs> but anyways. The next one, of course, I've been talking about it non non stop, is the Crescent City series, which is called the first one is called House of Earth and Blood, and of course it's by Sarah J. Mass. Oh my gosh! Hopefully today I'll be going to get it. I already got the audio, but I'm trying to wait. And yes, I'm so excited for that. I think that's probably going to be a six star, but we're just going with five star. And the last one I didn't know came out today. It's called The June Boys by Court Stevens. This one is about these boys. Every year, a boy gets kidnapped, and then the following year, they're brought, they're sent back. And, and then something happens, and one of the boys is killed. He's brought, so yeah, it looks really good. And again, that's The June Boys by Court Stevens. That comes out today, or it's out today, I should say. All right, now we'll get to the books that are on my lap here. <laughs> We have um, The Shadow Between Us by Tracy Levenseller. Seller. I only read like three or four pages. That's it. Or, yeah. It says chapter. Actually, it's more than three or four pages. It was like 18 pages, but it's like really short pages. But just the um, what it's about intrigues me a lot. And it just seems like it. Like it's yelling, five stars, five stars, five stars. And this is, she wants to marry the, um, what, what is she, what do they call him? The Shadow King. And then kill him. And take over, basically. And, of course, probably going to fall in love and all that good stuff. That one definitely looks good. Look how gorgeous. Look, I just can't get over how gorgeous this cover is. And since I pre-ordered it, Pretty soon I'll be getting um, something for pre-ordering this. I pre-ordered the um, Crescent City one because I'm getting, you know, two copies. I'm getting the one from Barnes & Noble, which I didn't pre-order. But then I pre-ordered a really pretty one from um, 
from Waterstones, which should be here in about a week, week and a half, hopefully. So, yeah. So, I'll be getting, that's the one I pre-ordered. So, I'm going to get something for that. So, yeah. But, let's get back on here. But, this looks really good. I'm hoping and praying it don't let me down. Hopefully, I'll be done with that this sometime this month. And then you'll know one of them at the wrap up. And of course, I'm going to be reading Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood, whatever you want to say. And that one will definitely be read this month. So, yeah. So, right there, two of them will be read. At least two of the books will be read this month. Let me put that up there. And then we got A River of Royal Blood, which I only read a few pages of. Well, I read a little bit more, but I had this on my list before I even was, you know, before I started reading it. It's just that time got away from me and I never got to film this in advance. So, yeah. But this is about this girl. They're supposed to fight like each other. And she, she her magic is like really, really, really um, dark and stuff like that. And she doesn't want to use it, but. Or she don't know how to control it or something like that. So, and she, someone tries to assassinate her. She don't know if it's her sister or not, but she wants to learn how to use that map, the magic for, you know, she don't get killed, basically. It's really interesting. But every, that's what happens. The, bro, the sisters always have to, um, if there's more than one sister, you know, they have to fight for the throne to the death, whatever you want to say. And then we got the second book to Nevermore, and that is Wondersmith by Jessica Townsend, The Colin of Morgan Crow. I think I gave Nevermore five stars. So this should be five stars. This is about this girl that's cursed and she's supposed to get killed on her 11th birthday, I think. And Jupiter, that's his name, he comes and whispers her away before she can, you know, before they can kill her. So, yes, that one looks really good. And then we got, I had to put like a romance one in here. I'm not sure if this is actually going to be a five star, but it looks so cute and it just sounds so adorable. It sounds like it should be a five star read. And that's Emma Lord, Emma Lord's Tweet Cute. And I just know this is about like, Pepper and Jack, and um, one thinks the other family um, stole their peanut, uh, their, their, I was going to say peanut butter and jelly, oh my gosh, stole their um, grilled cheese sandwich thing, and they, they don't know, but they, they meet, I mean, they're, they start liking each other from, you know, they don't know that they're, like, I don't know, I'm not very good at explaining it, but they're like, like started like a feud online and they don't know that the you know that they're you know you know what I mean like they don't know that 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 that's who each other are when they meet in person at school I know I'm totally butchering that but it just looks so cute and I've heard amazing things about this book so I'm really hoping it don't let me down and it's a five-star read Trying to remember what this one is about exactly, but it says Priestess, Assassin, and Traitor. It says The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. Astonishing, unlike anything I've read before. I'm trying to remember what this one was about. I just know, I just, as soon as I heard the title, I was like, ooh, I have to get that book. And as soon as it said Assassin, that there was assassins in it, yeah. I'll read what it says. It says, what if you knew how and when you will die? Okay, yeah. She's supposed to um, be killed, and this powerful mage offers her a new fate. If she leaves with him, and she'll he'll live, or she'll live, or something like that. So it's torn away from her destiny and her god to become a thief, a spy, an assassin. The wizard's loyal sword toppled an empire and help him. Reclaim his seat of power. But I think her, you say her name, Kaz, well, some of that, we, some of that. I don't know, it's C-S-O-R-W-E. We'll soon learn, gods remember, and if you live long enough, all deaths come true. 
says, what a glorious book. It hooked me from the first page and never let go. Fabulous in every meaning of the world. This just like, as soon, like I said, as soon as it said assassin, assassin, I was like, yes, sign me on. Now, these aren't all of the books that, I'm, that are, I predict are going to be five. I'm probably going to do another video in the next couple of months. I know April, uh, man, I forgot what it's called, uh, but a book that I want comes out in April that I didn't put on this list, but I still think it's going to be a five star. I just didn't write it down, so I'll probably do like uh, another video and add a couple other ones, that I think. And then I'll probably do three all together. I'll probably do these. This one, and then add a couple of more next month. And then um, do one later in the year, like probably June or July. Because I know there's some other books that are coming out later in the year that I think are going to be five stars. Now, some of these might not be updated until like... This one will probably be updated sometime this year, and then I don't know about the next one. But some of these won't be, um, you know, like like the new Saba, Saba Tahara, how do you say her name? Um, that one don't come until December 1st. So that one, even though it's going to be on this list, it might, yeah. So why don't we say we'll revisit this between December, December, January. No, I think January time frame we'll revisit this. Maybe December. We'll see. December or January. And then the one that I do probably in June or July, as long as I remember to do it. That one will probably be like February or March, even though I'll probably be reading some of them before then. And if who knows, they might be on my favorites of the year. But still. We'll still revisit that one probably the end of the winter. So maybe, yeah, probably like the last month of, like probably in February of next year, February. Let's just say between the end of February, beginning of March, we'll try to do the second one that I do that's going to be June or July when I update you again. But anyways, that is definitely another one I think is going to be five stars. And then we have the next book in... Uh, what is the first one called? Lifelike. Deviants? Deviants? How do you say it? I'm not going to tell you what this one's about because, you know, it's the next book in the series. But Lifelike was so good. I gave Lifelike five stars, I believe. So this one I was going to start. I actually did read like one, like a couple of pages. Like, just the reunion, that's all I read. Like, literally, that much. That was it. So, but Lifelike was one of my favorite, favorite books. So, I'm hoping that this one will be the same thing. Because I really loved, um, what was his name? Gabriel? I think his name's Gabriel. I love, 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 Lemon Fresh. No, it wasn't Gabriel. Gabriel's the bad one, I believe. Which one is the one that I like? I always forget his name. I'm so bad at remembering names. Ezekiel? Ezekiel or something like that, yeah. Hip and Lemon Fresh are my two favorite characters. And I do, and I love this, um, some of the other ones, but I can't think of their names right now. But anyways, the, the first one ended in such a major cliffhanger. So I really want to get to this one soon because I think the next one comes in, out in, the last one I believe comes out in May, June, I don't know, maybe sooner, I'm not sure. But I definitely want to read this one for I can read the next one and that will probably be on my, my, you know, next, you know, when I do it in June or July, my, what I think are going to be my, you know. Five, top five, or well, not top five, but you know what I mean. That's going to be my um on my prediction for top for my favorite or five star reads, whatever you want to say. And the last one is the last book in the Nixia trilogy by Scott Retton. Nixia was so so good. I think I gave Nixia four and a half, four four and a half. The second one I freaking love. Gave it five stars. So. 
That's why I think this one's going to be a five star at least. And this one is they basically only so many people are going to get picked. They have like a race going on kind of like type of thing. And only so many people are going, like I said, go through. And what they got to do is they got to mine Nixia. And all this stuff goes on. They just think that it's, a, you know, they don't realize that that um, that there's more than meets the eye. There's more that's going on. You know what I'm talking about. So a lot of things happen in these books, the first two books. So I'm really excited for this book. The only reason why I haven't read it sooner is just that other books got in the way. But yeah, I'm definitely wanting to read this and see how everything ends. And I really think it's going to be a five star. I'm hoping and praying it does not let me be down because four and a half, five, and hopefully this will be a five. And that is it. So let me know down below if you have any five-star predictions for your book, for any books, and give me some idea of what they might be. And I will talk to you guys all later. I hope you guys like this video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about subscribing. And if you do, hit that bell icon so you'll know whenever a video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. Remember to like the video if you liked it. And please, if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing to become part of my family. I love you guys so, so, so much. I appreciate you guys so much. Also, I want you guys to help me decide if I should keep my channel, Lori's Book Trot. Lori's Book Trials or Change It. And if you think I should change it, give me some ideas on what the new channel name should be. A happy Saturday. I mean, happy Tuesday. Happy book birthday to whoever, you know, has books coming out like Sarah J. Maz and um, uh, Mary Lou. And um, why do I always forget her name? I know Mary Lou has one coming out. Um, my gosh. No, the one that does, um, oh my gosh, my mind went complete. Cassandra Clare, that's her name. I know she has one coming out. Court Courtney Stevens, like I just said. Um, Jody Silver, or something like that. Um, there's so many other ones I'm forgetting. There's so many, there's too many to remember for, for March 3rd. So yeah, but happy birthday. Day, book birthday to everybody that's having a book birthday. Okay, you guys, take care, and I will check back with you later.